ili eh, kuweza kulinda hali kabla wakati na hata baada ya uchaguzi kwa sasa ni baada ya uchaguzi mtazamaji lakini hata bado maafisa hao wako katika uh, kila maeneo ili kuweza uh, kudumisha tu amani uh, kumbukumbu kuna baadhi ya maeneo amba, am, ambayo kama vile Kisauni Likoni na Nyali ndio sehemu ambazo ziliweza kutajwa na idara ya usalama lakini uh, tangu uchaguzi kukamilika mtazamaji hatujawahi kusikia mushkili yoyote kwani uh, hali ya kupiga kura ilikamilika uh, kwa bila bila tashwishi yote lakini kubwa kwamba mtazamaji kaunti ya Mombasa ni mojawapo wa kaunti ambayo hadi sasa wakazi hawaja mchagua gavana kwa sababu ya hali ya sutafahamu iliyopatikana na kushuhudiwa eh, kutokana na karatasi za kura na wakazi eneo hili wanajiandaa kuweza kuingia debeni tena mnamo tarehe 23 na tumai hiyo ni wiki moja kuanzia leo mtazamaji ikiwapo baada ya uchaguzi wake rais basi watakuwa tayari kuingia debeni ili kuweza kumchagua gavana wao kumbuka kwamba ni kinyang'anyiro ambacho eh, kitakuwa cha kukata na shoka kwani kuna baadhi ya vigogo wa kisiasa ambao wako debeni kujaribu kumrithi gavana wa sasa Hassan Ali Joho eh, mojawapo mojawapo akiwa Uh, ni Abdul Samad Sharif Nasir ambaye anagombea katika kiti cha ODM vile vile uh, kuna Hassan Omar wa chama cha UDA uh, kuna William King pale mtazamaji pia uh, katika chama cha PA kuna uh, VDP pia ambaye uh, kinara wake ni uh, uh, Awiti Bolo na vile vile mtazamaji kuna mgombea huru pale na mwingine pia uh, UAP mtazamaji na kuhakika ni kinyang'anyiro tu ambacho pia wengi wana mtazamo tofauti uh, baadhi ya wadadisi wadadisi wa kisiasa kundradhi wakisema kwamba ni kivumbi ambacho kinapiganiwa na vigogo tu wawili baina ya chama cha ODM na chama cha UDA kinachosimamiwa na mgombea urais katika chama hicho naibu rais na vile vile mgombea wa Azimio One Kenya Raila Odinga ambaye eh, ni kiongozi na kinara wa chama cha ODM eh, kwa hakika ni wao wawili mtazamaji ambao wamepewa wa kipaumbele na wanatazamiwa wana, wana sana ikikumbuka kwamba ni matokeo ya urais eh, pengine ukegemea upande uh, upande wa ODM na vile ama upande wa UDA wengi pia wakihisi kwamba iwapo Ruto atachaguliwa kuwa rais uh, basi pengine aka, huenda akakuwa na ushawishi mkubwa katika matokeo ya ugavana uh, na vile vile iwapo Raila Odinga pia ataibuka mshindi basi huenda ushawishi mkubwa ukatoka kwa chama cha ODM na kivumbi cha ugavana katika kaunti hii ya Mombasa kaunti Mombasa ina maeneo bunge sita mtazamaji ambayo ni Changamwe, Jomvu, Likoni, Mvita, uh, Nyali na vile vile Kisauni na katika chaguzi iliyokamilika tumeona kwamba ODM imeweza kupata viti zaidi uh, katika nafasi uh, za ubunge uh, ikiwa tu ni Nyali pekee ambayo uh, chama cha UDA kimeweza kuibuka na ushindi baada ya mbunge wa sasa Mohamed Ali uh, kuweza kushinda kiti hicho licha ya kuweza kumenyana na uh, wagombea kutoka vyama vingine mbalimbali na tayari wale walioshindwa kuna baadhi yao ambao wameelezea kutoridhika kwao na jinsi uchaguzi ulivyofanywa na tumea IEBC wengine wakis, baadhi yao wakisema pengine huenda wakaelekea uh, mahakamani ili kuweza tu ku uh, tafuta njia ya kuweza kuelezea malalamishi yao lakini hilo bado hatujaweza uh, kuona hatua wamechukua ni hatua tu ambayo waliweza kutaja katika kikao na wanahabari wakisema kwamba wataelekea kule moja wapo mtazama mmoja wao alisema kwa hakika Frida kwamba yeye katika kitu ambacho alichopiga kura mtazamaji uh, yeye alienda pale na familia yake watu tisa lakini alishangaa ni vipi katika kile kituo matokeo yaliyotokea ni kituo cha Pentros eh, na alisema kwamba kati ya watu tisa watu familia yake aliweza kupata kura nne peke yake kwa hivyo anashangaa ni vipi alipata kura nne licha ya kwenda kuelekea pale na familia yake akisema kwamba kuna hata baadhi ya marafiki ambao walikuwa kwenye foleni tayari kumpigia kura zaidi ya sabini kulingana naye anasema kwamba alikuwa na zaidi ya marafiki sabini wote ambao walikuwa wamemhaidi kumpigia kura na anahisi pengine eh, kulikuwa na mushkila hivyo basi anasema kwamba huenda akaelekea mahakamani ili kuweza kuwasilisha eh, malalamishi yake na kupata tu nafasi ya kusikizwa lakini hadi sasa mtazamaji na uh, pengine tu 
wengi wao kutoka mirengo mbalimbali ambao waliweza kuzungumza na wanahabari ni kwamba huenda wanasubiri tu kujua matokeo ya urais kabla ya kuchukua hatua mbalimbali mbali ili kuweza kuendelea tu na kupigia mate vile vile kumezea mate eh, nyadhifa walizowania katika kaunti hii ya Mombasa Mombasa ina takriban ya idadi jumla ya watu eh, milioni mbili au zaidi na E, kati yao laki sita arubaina moja alfu ndio walio sajiliwa na IEBC kuweza kupiga kura na ni idadi okay, hiyo tu ambayo yeah. pengine e, tunatalami um, and I'm not sure also he would want to keep this diplomat uh, alert here um, but that's just state uh, Victor alright uh, Gidaiga and Wakili what is the most important lesson that us as Kenyans can learn <coughs> from the entire process of IBC conducting this election is almost coming to an end, yes. uh, so to speak. Based on our past experiences, and here we are today. Wakili. I think that uh, we were at 40% previously. We have now come to 75, 80% in terms of performance. The 20% includes gaps like allowing, you know, uh, strangers or foreigners, quote unquote, to come into the counting hall. That counting hall, the the floor where votes are being counted, should be the holy of the holies, or ho holy places where only the tiring agents and the IBC commissioners can. Even IBC commissioners themselves should actually be on another corner. This particular tiring should be strictly for those who are coming with the results and the counterparts from the IBC office. So, a plus also. Apart from that, you know, you look at the, 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 the mode of uh, making citizens wait, yes. that anxiety, that should be improved, as we said, by IBC probably now uh, setting a communications team that even if they use their IT and communication department to come in and say, we know you are waiting, but the commissioners have just told us that they are now doing stage three and probably by five, you know, that kind of mm -hmm. updates which will make Kenyans. And then this should come with, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a statement that please go work. We will call upon you at five or we will call upon you tomorrow in the morning. Then we will give you better, uh, better results. Mm. Otherwise, we are seeing them come back now in the hall. But you see, we still do not know. There are 28 or 30 more constituencies not announced. Probably they will come in, announce them, and then maybe announce the results or something like that. We do not know. But that not knowing bit should be deleted, should mm. be eliminated, so that we have... Uh, Kenyans should now, you know, uh, you know, know what to expect right. in, 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 the, in the next few hours. Uh, yes. He's talking about anxiety management. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Indeed, anxiety management mm. is a personal issue as well. Like I said, there is about emotional intelligence. Mm. I mean, if you don't start getting on with your life, life will not wait for you. Yeah. Go back to work, do your thing. Because an election is just a day's event, the day you cast your vote. Mm. The rest is a process. And starting by the seven days provided, that's what the Katiba provides for us. So we shouldn't give undue pressure on IBC, especially noting a nullification of an election. Mm. They have to be sure of what they are doing. And I congratulate them. And I want to say that IBC has improved greatly, unlike before the election, there were certain elements of the political divide who were actually saying IBC is not ready. Shame on them, because IBC has proved them wrong. And I want to say 90%, my brother Wakili has said 80% in performance, me to me it's 90. 10% is what they have not done. The other thing I want to point out is systemic collaboration. Their systems were collaborating. Irrespective of the vast yeah. nation that we have, this time round, coverage. You see, there was only little use of the manual register. Actually, they said it's the only the number two hundred uh, yes. nationwide. You get it's so number. Yes, it shows you that there was systemic collaboration, even with the Ministry of ICT, mm. even with Safaricom, even with the other major players, those who provide the network, and then within themselves, the networked agency how they worked together, how the POs communicated, how the ROs communicated, how the CROs communicated. There was a flow, and that is why we are here today. And I believe the process was very open and transparent, and I commend and I congratulate Chebukati mm. and all the POs and all the ROs and all the CROs and all the other support staff 
that made this happen mm. to this they did well but yes but <laughs> for me there is no but there is no, no but at this time um, Wakilas, <laughs> Wakilas said there's lack of flow of information i think that's why a majority of kenyans are feeling like uh, there was there was a, a small gap somewhere i think the lack of flow of information is right because you cannot get anything perfect but yet again you know there was various channels of information flow mm. i think that's where the confusion came so they expected much more from IEBC because you had the TV stations also giving their own tally. You see, okay, yes. uh, when you look at people just coming from outside mm. and going there and they start fighting over a Kim skit, mm. a Kim skit, and also exchanging papers. Mm. This could be simple full scraps, so probably not that they are stealing anything. Exactly. But do you, why in that particular holy of holies? It shouldn't be allowed. In my view, IBC, you saw Professor Goulier at one time when people were all full in the house saying, we want everybody out unless they're following people. Why did you allow them in the first place? Mm. So there is that level of management, integrity of the process mm. should continue. In fact, it should be more strict here in that uh, Uchaguzi Hall because that is where everything is being collected. That's where you're, you're seeing which data is genuine, which one is not. If, uh, you, if you call that to be the 10%, I would agree with you. But if you say mm. that is not a mistake at all, then I think I would obviously openly disagree and say, no, 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 they need to improve. IBC must do something. To put, itself, uh, to put its house in order. Wakili, I agree with you. In fact, I was the first person to condemn that. And in fact, some of the faces I saw there, <laughs> they have never been agents. Some of mm. them, I don't want to give them a negative perspective or call them names. But it also boiled down to the party. Mm. Because all those guys had tags. All those people you saw there, they had tags. So it is the political party itself that applied for these tags mm. and misused that um, concession that they were given by the IBC. Mm. And I think it was mostly, most of this tug of war was only with one divide, unfortunately. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, in a bit, we'll be heading over to Western Gishu County. But before we do that, uh, Victor, and I wanted to mention that a bit. If there are people who have received buttering, <laughs> right, left, and center, is the media, um, <laughs> and how generally, you know, uh, we have steered through this um, election. But nobody really appreciates the amount of fatigue that has gone, that this election has brought um, to media personalities. And, and you know, it, it is our responsibility uh, to bring you this information. And I was seeing screenshots last night of a mistake from one TV station, another mistake from another, and people don't realize it's actually fatigue. Mm. Yeah? We don't realize that what, we are, what we're dealing with at this point um, is fatigue. And I don't know whether, Victor, you, you, you suffer from the same, Emma, you still... Uh, um, you know, we wake up at 3 a.m. every day. <laughs> to start with, we wake up at 3 a.m. and we talk for nine hours nonstop. Mm. <laughs> that, according to what you usually say, that can cause a brain cell, you know, our brain cells can die. Mm. You know? It's a lot of work, so to speak. It's a lot of work. And the amount of resources that media houses deployed to cover this election is enormous. If you want to... Uh, you know, put it in, in terms of numbers. The amount of money, for example, um, the personnel, uh, man hours spent in the election, we can write a pamphlet about it. But you see, the whole scenario here is to give quality reporting. That's the primary role. Mm. But we will never lack, you know, another section of the media, you know, trying to get to the other side of the wing and this other side will try to get to the wing all in the name of competition which is okay it's a competitive industry and i think that is why even when i inchi tried to have some lack of trust mm. in the media so they resorted now to this use of social media okay mm. you see the use of social media it's it's pretty quick you go on your facebook twitter whichever part, platform you want text send it's gone it depends on how many people that you command on your social media platform. Mm. So, as a media, we need to up our game. Again, I don't know what percentage Gidaiga will give us, <laughs> if he's generous enough, and even you, Akili, <laughs> as as KBC, yes. what is the figure that you'd give us? Please be generous enough, Gidaiga. <laughs> be generous. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just head over know, to... Just know which side of your is <laughs> County. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me head over to Wasingishu County first. Timotheo Kipnusu uh, joins us from uh, Wasingishu. I don't know whether it is elder town, uh, probably from the end of a market or where he is. He will tell us. Um, but good morning, Kipnusu. What's the mood like in Wasingishu ahead of this announcement by the uh, chairperson of the IEBC? Timothy? Uh, a very good morning uh, to you, my colleague uh, JJ Curia, together with Victor Law, the other broadcasting house. Uh, the mood here is uh, calm. Uh, residents here are anxious, uh, waiting for the much anticipated uh, announcement from uh, the chairperson of the uh, Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, our Fula Ache Bukati. And uh, I'm at uh, the famous. Uh, uh, Westy Market here in Wasingishu, a few meters uh, from uh, a 64 uh, stadium where the campaign has been going on before uh, the politicians uh, uh, or, or a number of them were elected. And uh, uh, the mood here, uh, normalcy has returned, has resumed. Uh, people are continuing here with their businesses as usual. Uh, but uh, uh, they're telling me that um, they really want that announcement so that they, their businesses can uh, really uh, go back to normal because uh, a number of them are saying that uh, uh, they are not receiving uh, customers uh, as usual. And just to paint a picture of Wasingishu County, bearing in mind this is the hometown of uh, the uh, presidential uh, candidate, uh, that is United Democratic Alliance presidential candidate, uh, uh, William Samway Arap Ruto. We get some sentiments because, uh, as you can see, it's very chilly, and uh, they have decided not to stay at home, but at least to ensure that uh, they uh, put food on the table. Uh, Unajaribu kuzauza hapa uh, unapofanya biashara yako uh, pengine um, wisia zako kuhusiana na uchaguzi na wasasa najua wa Kenya wanasubiri kujua ni nani atakuwa kiongozi pengine maoni yako kuhusiana na hali halisi ya um, siasa nchini Ya kwanza ningependa kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu alituwezesha tukapiga kura kwa amani na tukamaliza tukaenda nyumbani vizuri lakini kuanzia tuweze kupiga kura hali imekuwa Hayendi na isongi kwa sababu tumerudi kazini hakuna customer pesa ambayo tulikuwa nazo zimeisha kwa sababu tunaendelea kula na maoni yangu ni kwamba chebukati ni vyema sana aweze kutangaza matokeo haya na sisi tuko tayari kukubali matokeo ambayo atatupatia yule ambaye atatupatia tutashukuru sana na tutaweza kufanya naye kazi kwa sababu tunajua kwamba wakati ameweza kutangaza matokeo haya tuta, kazi zetu zitaweza kurudi na mambo yatarudi sawa ukiangalia tai soko hii ni soko ya west hapa Eldoret na ukiangalia watu wamerudi kazi lakini customer hawapo tuko sisi tu wafanye biashara pekee yetu tunajangaliana na kuongeleshana na kunogonezana kuhusu matokeo ambayo itakuwa na hiyo mshike mshike ya kuanza kuulizana nani ameshinda nani atashindwa na hali vile ilivyo inatukanganya sana asante asante apigane nipate mwanadada hapa uh, unaitwa nani uh, unaziushisha na masuala yapi hapa na wito wako kuhusiana na uh, baadhi ya wale ambao wametwika jukumu na kuhakikisha kwamba uh, taifa linapata rais wa tano atafai Nashukuru Mungu kwa, uja, kwa, kwa ujaguzi tulipika na amani na tuko na amani hapa wasikishu isipokuwa kitu mimi kwa majina naitwa Pamela Lakat nimeshukuru Mungu kwa yote naomba Chebukati utangaze president kwa haraka iwezeka nafio sisi ni watu wenye tunaenda soko sa nje tumefungiwa soko sa nje marori zimewekwa chini watu wenye wanaenda na marori wanasema ya kwamba wanataka wapate rais mwenye atakuwa mteule ndipo sa tuondoke tuende nje hapa ta unithiri kwote ya wasinikishu ni wafanyibiashara ninaomba viongozi wenye wamechakuliwa kwa sasa hivi wakuje waone shida yenye tunapitia wakuje waamurishe wa watu ya marori na tup- Escort, twende soko sa inje, tuko na watoto wanaenda shule, tulalipa rent, maisha imekuwa ngumu. Wasikae tu kwa nyumba wakisema ya kwamba wamepewa kiketi, wataongosa. Waanze sasa hivi. Tunataka tuondoke, twende tufanye kazi ya inje. Hapa West ni town lakini hakuna pesa, watu wameokopa kununua vitu. As- Asante Clarion call to leaders who have been elected in a different position be it the senator, the uh, governor, member of parliament. 
uh, woman member to the National Assembly, and uh, of, of course the member of County Assembly. Those sentiments. Let, let me get a, a border border operator, uh, Bariako Wewe Uli Husika Karika Zezila Uchaguzi. Now, Una Hisi VP Kwasasa Hali Meri Rudishwari, Biashari Iko VP. Ni Mimi Nimtika Kura was in Kishu County, Nileza Kupia Kura Taretisa. Na tangu tarehe tisa tumeweza kupiga kura kazi ilienda chini kabisa kama sisi wana boda boda kazi imeenda chini hata hata ikifika juu unaweza kuja hapa saa moja asubuhi by the time rudi nyumbani kwa, kwa nyumba asubuhi utakuwa tuna shilingi 200 so tunaomba tunaomba chabukati na tume yake waweze kutangaza uche matokeo ndio kazi iweze kurudi kama kawaida tuko na njaa Tuko na njaa inafaa serikali juzi imeweza kutangaza kwamba unga ya shilingi 100 iliweza kutupiliwa mbali. Sasa hizi kupata shilingi 200 ya kununua unga imekuwa shida. Imekuwa shida sisi kama wana boda boda tunahangaika sana hii town. Tunahangaika sana kwa sababu kuna kazi. Kitu kingine shule zimetangazwa itafungulia on Thursday. Tunangojea kutafuta school fees. Nitakana tulipe school fees ambayo sasa hizi hatuna pesa. Watu watarudi shule bila school fees. Lazima watu warudi shule na school fees. Tutatoa school fees. Kwa hivyo chapkati hawezi kutangaza matokeo, tutakubali matokeo yoyote. Sisi tuliweza kufanya eh, sehemu yetu ya kupiga kura kama wana wapiga kura, tulipiga kura na tulishia maliza sehemu yetu. Sehemu inayobaki ni ya chapkati kutangaza viongozi na kiongozi mwana atakuja. Tuko taharu kufanya kazi na kiongozi yote. Atuna, sasa tuna uchaguzi. Asante. Ya. Yeah. There you have it, uh, JJ Kiori there and uh, Victor Olo, sentiments from residents here in Wasingishu County, particularly the businessmen who are involved in selling of mitumbas and, uh, of course, the border border operator. And uh, they are actually waiting for that uh, pronouncement or uh, announcement from uh, the uh, chairperson of the Independent Electron Boundaries Commission. But uh, we managed to visit a number of uh, uh, places in the CBD and uh, it's uh, people are res have resumed to work um, and uh, them it is uh, they have played their part as uh, the, the electorate they're going to the ballot and electing their leaders now they're waiting for those who have been given the mandate to announce uh, the winner and they are saying whoever will be they are ready uh, to embrace and uh, for the betterment of the country and of course the Gisho County you all know that uh, the, all the five, um, um, river, river, uh, nine positions in Western Gishu County, I'm talking about the gubernatorial position, senatorial position, and the woman member to the National Assembly, and the six constituency, the member of parliament, the sixth constituency in Western Gishu County, that is Moiben, uh, uh, Kesis, Capsarate, Ainapkoi, uh, Tarbo, and so all those constituency and of course those positions, the gubernatorial, senatorial, and woman member to the National Assembly, uh, leaders who were elected were from United Democratic Alliance Party, the party for the uh, Deputy President William Ruto. So it is a wait and see situation here in Wasingishu. We will be uh, pitching camp uh, in a number of places to find out what are people talking about this election. Of course, give, they are giving credit to Chebukati and his team for uh, conducting a very credible election. Of course, we will make that uh, the decision after. Uh, the announcement of uh, the IABC. From me, Timothy Kipnusu, I hand you back to studio, my colleague JJ Kioria and Victor Olo. All right, okay. All right, so that is uh, Kipnusu from uh, what is Gishu giving us an account of what's happening down there. And of course, it's just uh, a matter of wait and see from the bombers of Kenya. But generally, <laughs> the <laughs> no, that area <laughs> is okay, according to. Misiku ya ne bada ya uchaguzi mku kufanyika na matokeo bado ya nasubiriwa. Lakini hapa kisumu, wafanyibiashara wameamua kuendeleza biashara zao. Japo kuna hofu na wasiwasi lakini wanasema ya kwamba unga lazima itafutwe kwa sababu tunataka tulishe watoto hatuwezi kukaa kwa nyumba na kuna income mm. ndio imefanya tu, tuendelee tu kazi hatuna shida yoyote tuko sawa tumechoka kukaa kwa nyumba na kuna hela sasa tunaamua turudi kazini tufanyefanye kazi 
tukirudi kwa nyumba tuwe na kile ambacho tunaweza kula kuna wengine wako na malon na walikuwa wametarajia wamefunga maduka yao waenda kwao na tunawatarajia warudi ili biashara iendelee vilikuwa hapa zamani hapa kwetu sisi Kisumu tuko sawa sisi tunaendelea tu na kazi zetu kama kawaida kwa sababu tunajua sisi tulishapiga kura tulijitokeza venye baba alikuwa amesema tukapiga kura na kwa sababu hizi sisi tunajua mshindi ni nani hata tulishajua mshindi ni nani tumepata utulivu mkubwa sana kwa sababu unaona kila mtu anatembea biashara zinaendelea mbele ngaje ziko katika kiwango cha chini lakini tunatarajia kwamba kuna mazuri itakuja ku, uh, kutokea biashara ni lazima matokeo yote tutakubalia but biashara lazima iendelee liwe liwalo kwa hivyo tumeamua kufanya biashara tufungue tu biashara maisha yaendelee kama kawaida hayo ni maoni ya baadhi ya wafanyabiashara hapa Kisumu jina langu ni Ouko Okusa Asante sana Okusa kwa taarifa hiyo ambayo ni ya kutia moyo na tarajia na natumaini mombi yangu kwamba um, maeneo yote kwa sitting there for six days you have to get updated every single moment not missing even a digit because that is again uh, could be a matter of uh, how do you call it uh, legal battle yes. you go to court even a point even a mark so it has been a lot of work to the commission so to speak what do you think it has been extremely hard for them um, But let me just say, going back to the question that you asked me earlier, I give mm. KBC 90%. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. There's a time there But where we were lost be, of information. Be nice to us. There was a time there <laughs> yes. we were lost of information. Yeah. Some media houses were, people were doubting their results. But KBC actually brought us back to par. Thank you. And that is well done to KBC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, congratulations. But now back to IBC. These guys deserve a clap yeah and they deserve to be rewarded because uh, bobby wine east african countries au all over even when you listen to the observers mm. they're like wow how do you guys manage i know there's some uh, gifs going around seven was asking <laughs> you mean <laughs> that there's a public portal <laughs> you know <laughs> so i believe this is European standard, American standard for yes. Afri an African country. And I believe and a majority of other jurisdictions will copy from, from Kenya, what, what has worked for us. Yes, yes, yeah. and, and Kenya is always leading, you know, to, mm. in, in that matter in Africa. Mm. And in terms of democracy, Kenya is number one. There is nowhere where you find a country speaking negatively about a president who's seated, and mm. he does nothing because of what the law provides. Yeah. There is freedom of speech, freedom of association, bill of rights, There's all even uh, freedom of information, access to information, exactly. what the media uses, you know, right? And that's what Chibukati deployed. And that's what he deployed. And he did it perfectly because you remember the other time he was hit hard by the Supreme Court yeah. ruling. Yes. And he said not again. And this time round he did it well. Mm. And congratulations. Having in mind he was, the, he, was, he was the main respondent. Who? Chebukati, the yes. IBC back then. Exactly. Yeah. So this time round, he can go and retire because I know this is this was his last election mm. in terms of the term that he holds. He cannot be the chairman further from this, mm. and uh, he'll retire happy man. Okay. Yeah. Jim, before I come back to you, Wakili, I live in Gidaiga. You also pick. Let's talk about this this man, Chebukati. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we've talked about. You know, Honorable Ludinga, Deputy President William Ruto, mm. the, the politicians elect. Uh, we've talked about everybody <clears throat> else, even the Monaiminchi, who is the voter. But this man, Chebukati, is like he had uh, the vaccine <laughs> to cure almost the virus that was killing each and that affected each and every yeah. person in the country. Yes. Yeah, so this I, man Chibukati. I mm. talk about Chibukati, and before just going to mention about him, I, you you asked about the journalists, the way they have not been able to sleep for the entire mm. seven days now. We wake up at 3 a.m. That is the calling, you know. You know, <laughs> we, we we have the 
first responders, we have the second row, third row, and the fifth row. I mean, we, when you called me, you say, we want you to come at the studio at 6 a.m. You know, I keep wondering, should I be reading <laughs> something at that time or coming to the studio? Yes. It is new to me. But I realize that, yes, that is the calling. You have to start your programs so early. So I, I'm not saying that I agree with him. 90, yeah. 95% not an issue. But the issue is, and I think this goes to the youngsters who want to come to media. They should yeah. not think that it is good just to appear on screen and uh, yeah. all the good work you're doing. It has a cost to it. Hmm. There's a cost to it. There are times you are called to go and cover news actually in a war torn area. Absolutely. And you have to dress like a military regalia and, and, and dark bullets, you know. Hmm. So that is the calling for a journalist. And I think we thank uh, media houses and particularly this media house hmm. for the job well done. Now, talking about Chepukati, same thing. That is his calling. You know, Chepukati, he actually mismanaged the previous elections. Hmm. Uh, and again, not giving him any marks as yet, how he failed, but he, he, he did not perform like he has performed now. So I am sure he has meta metamorphosized himself from what he was to what he has become. But this is also because the state assisted him. The mm. state this time around was not interested at all in interfering or trying to influence or cook or whatever. They left him to do his homework. And he has come out as a person with a very stable mind, as a person with the knowledge, as a person who has picked the lessons from the Supreme Court uh, ruling to what he has made us believe about the transparency and accountability in the voting process and in the tallying process. So I think we also give it to him for the way he has conducted himself for the way he has responded quickly to the demands of Kenyans, uh, the demands of the Supreme Court judgment. And all these things, I think now, they make him look a bit more uh, prepared to retire peacefully. Mm. All right, over to you, Jen. Even with Aiga, now you can pick it. Yes. Uh, but, oh, yes. Um, I just wanted to point out and uh, agree with my friend, uh, Wakili, that uh, he's done a good job compared to the first time. But I also want to bring you back to how he became the chairman. Remember there was Mohammed, was it Ahmed, or maybe you can remind me, Wakili, the former IBC chairman. Mm. And if you look at the space of which he had to prepare Chebukati was very little. Oh, yeah. After Isaac Hassan mm. left, right? Yes. So if he had more time, like, like before, I'm sure he would have done a better job. And that's why he had a lot to prove. And you can see the level of intelligence, the level of calmness, yeah, the level of sobriety, the level of knowing what he is doing and what he's mandated to do. Credit to Chebukati. Mm. Yeah, hard I, I think hard this off. year they have made IBC a better place to work. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I think most people would now easily apply to exactly. work with the so IBC. So it's now independent. <laughs> now it's independent. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, for mm. most people, it's only human to be quick to judge um, somebody else in their situation yes. without fully understanding what it takes to be in that particular position. Again, heavy is the head. But looking at... Um, the precedence that Chebukati is going to leave, looking at, uh, in, given his time, uh, his six year tenure is coming to an end was, uh, towards the end of next year. The mm, next team that comes into place, will they be able to maintain the same standard of uh, executing the general elections for the next, uh, for 2027, or will they have a hard time keeping up or even just reaching that bar that this particular team has set up? Let's start with you, Akili. Yeah, I think that uh, going forward for, for, for Chebukati and the team and the IEBC, the major thing would be to ensure that, uh, like I said, uh, proper strictures are put in place to ensure that uh, there, there are no infiltrations that, that, that happen at all. He's, we have no doubt about the IEBC competency or Chebukati's uh, 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 person whether his own intelligence or his own capacities. In fact, he has demonstrated that uh, he's a very, you know, this guy had done a lot of practice in law in Mombasa and in, in Nairobi for a long period. And I think that uh, 2017, it was destabilizing him. It was, in a sense, he was destabilized by what my friend is saying that uh, uh, he had a very short time to be taken through the whole process. Mm. But, but, but he, he, if you look at him as a person, he's a very brilliant guy now, mm. and he has shown that uh, anybody who is given a chance to work 
especially in independent institutions, can actually deliver good results. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Curia? We continue to monitor the situation at the Bombers of Kenya. Um, live pictures from inside the auditorium and outside. Uh, the person coming in is Richard Tongi, the former uh, Nyariwari Chachi, uh, member of parliament. I think he's been felled, um, but he's making his way to uh, the bombers of Kenya. Quite a security situation there, as you can see. Um, and it starts right from the entrance. Um, scaled screening uh, before you access uh, the bombers of Kenya, and not the auditorium. I'm talking about the bombers of Kenya. Before you make it to the gate of the bombers of Kenya, um, it's such a quite a huge process. And business woman Mary Wamboi, mm. there she is. Uh, she's, I think she's been one of the agents for Ruto. Deputy President William Ruto, uh, also making her way into uh, the bombers of Kenya. Up until now, the country is on edge, waiting with bated breath for the announcement of who Kenya's fifth president will be. But of course, he becomes president when he takes the oath of office as the next president of the Republic of Kenya. In the meantime, um, the president of the Republic of Kenya is His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Uh, those are live pictures from the bombers inside the auditorium and outside the auditorium. Interestingly, um, even after uh, the IBC having finished uh, the verification and tallying of the remaining constituencies, uh, they are yet to announce the results of those remaining constituencies, um, the verified results, that is. And probably, I guess, my guess is once they come out to, before they announce the presidential winner, they will have to first of all dispense with the results of the remaining uh, 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 constituencies. And now there you see Dr. Isaac Kalua mm -hmm. um, of the Think, Thinking Green Action Party, mm -hmm. TGAP, uh, also making his way uh, to the bombers of Kenya. And you would say security is quite tight. Um, they are on the other end of the screen, you have the auditorium and the preparations therein. So I'm saying, I guess the first order of business once the IEBC appears on that podium is, first of all, to declare the remaining constituencies and then say, we have a tally, we have a winner, and go ahead and declare them. Or they could just first decide to uh, wind up with our uh, results. Uh, that is the remaining constituencies, and then, at some point, then announce uh, the presidential uh, winner. You see the choir there uh, entertaining uh, <laughs> those who are inside the auditorium, it's another way of, you know, easing Calming the, the nerves. You know, <laughs> calming the nerves yeah. as you listen to uh, those very sweet tunes. No, no, no. Music, is, music is a food, I mean, it's all food. Do you know even God loves entertainment? That's mm. why <laughs> even David <laughs> sang, <laughs> sang, played a harp for him, you know. Mm. So music is good. You can no, imagine the kind of tension now. in the music, in, in the <laughs> auditorium right now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. Music is good. All right, um, we keep monitoring that situation there, of course, uh, to update you uh, on the latest. We also have Sarami, uh, Serafina Ruby, uh, who is our reporter at the uh, Bombers of Kenya, as well as we also have the team of a brand, Kimani and the entire team there. <coughs> uh, they'll also be telling us about what is happening uh, in uh, uh, Bombers of Kenya. I'm just wondering, all these people, you, you want to tell me they... The security people, they, they, they don't know probably, they don't have an inkling on the results. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are so close to Chipkati. I, I wish somebody could answer that question from the auditorium. <laughs> How I wish. But uh, yeah, um, everybody's gazing. I think that's why music is there, to mm. for just a bit of some entertainment for people to relax. <laughs> it's been a hard moment, you know. Maybe, director, let's just get entertained as well on this mm -hmm. end. We go to Bomas and get listen to the nuts.
kwa maana ya ridhi ambayo imekujia kwa njia moja mufti kabisa ni katika ukumbi wa boma ambayo tunatarajia matokeo ya na matangazo ya kura za urais yatakuwa yanatangazwa na ni kinyang'anyiro kikali maana ke uh-huh. nilikuwa naangalia kwenye mitandao ya kijamii pia profesa George Wajakoya ameandika pale kwamba akona imani kwamba yeye anakwenda kushinda. Mm, 
ndio aje tulimwona mwenzake Maure jana na. alikubali kushindwa mm -hmm. na akasema namuunga mkono naibu wa rais William Ruto lakini wajakoya ingawaje katika zile idadi za nambari yupo chini kidogo na. lakini yeye mwenye ana imani anasema anasubiri chabukati mm. atamtangaza yeye kama mshindi aha mm. na nafikiri ni imani ambayo inaweza kuvunja milima mm -hmm. e, ile ni imani ambayo inatakikana uwe nayo Frida hata kama ni kiasi cha chembe ya haradali unaweza kufanya mambo makubwa na ndio imani ambayo naiona na, na profesa George Wajakoya mm -hmm. imani ya kubadilisha wakenya ambao walikuwa nayo katika manifesto yake wapende vitu ambavyo kitambo walikuwa nafikiria havifai Naam. si imani mchezo lakini haya yote ni baada ya chebukati kutangaza tutajua <laughs> ni imani ya nani ilifanya kazi kwa sasa wana Eldoret pia wana imani kali sana mm -hmm. tumeshuhudia pale awali na tukamwomba mwanahabari Nick wa Mbua andai tathmini atupatie kwa sasa ako tayari Nick iwapo uko tayari na unatusikia labda utujuze naona mihemu kwa imetulia kidogo utatupa taarifa ya kinachoendelea kwa sasa katika mji huu wa Eldoret kwako Nick Mhm mm na asante sana Lofty ni kwamba wananchi katika eneo bunge uh, katika kaunti hii ya Wasingisho hapa mjini Eldoret wana furaha nyingi tu wakisubiri kwamba kuona mwanao na Ibrahim Sile Mruto ambaye anatoka maeneo haya kwamba atatangazwa kuwa yeye ndio mshindi katika uchaguzi huu ni matumaini ambayo wanayo kama ulivyoona awali ni kwamba wanapotuona tuona hisi kwamba wawe nasi wajiunge nasi kwamba waweze kuzungumza na kutoa hisia zao kuhusiana na sala hili na hilo basi likitarajiwa bila shaka wengi wana matumaini kwamba hili litatokea mwenzangu Sidney Chazima atakuwa anakelekea kule Sugoi vile vile ambako watu watakuwa na toisi zao wapo naibu rais William Ruto kweli atashinda katika uchaguzi huu ama iwapo ataanguka atakuwa kule kuweza kuzungumza nao na kupata hisia zao kuhusiana na sala hili lakini kama ilivyo kwa sasa ni kwamba matumaini yapo tena kwa wingi tu kati ya hawa wakazi wa maeneo hayo kwamba naibu rais William Ruto atakipata kiti hichi hebu nizungumze na mwenzangu Lois Wangoi bila shaka ambaye tuko tumeongana naye awali kuhusiana na sala hili Lois eh yeah. pengine tuko na zungumzia naibu rais William Ruto mara yake ya kwanza yeah. Lakini na maana gani wapo atapata hiti hichi kiti ama atakosa? Tuanze na kupata kukosa, tuanze na kupata ni ushindani kwa hivyo huenda akapata ama akakosa Nick. Lakini kama atapata atakuwa ni mwenyeaji wa kwanza hapa nchini Kenya kutafuta kiti cha urais kwa mara ya kwanza na kufaulu na mnanaibu wa rais. Hivyo atakuwa analeta uh, taswira tofauti ama msisimko tofauti wa kisiasa. Na pengine mtu ambaye alikuwa anakaa kama naibu wa rais, anakaa kama mbunge anataka akae miaka 20 30, pengine ataona kumbe inawezekana na pengine hilo litaleta uh, darubini tofauti katika ulingo wa kisiasa na pengine hilo litachangia sana hata mkondo ambao siasa za eneo hili uh, la North Rift na vile vile maeneo ya kaskazini mwa bonde la Ufa kwa ujumla jinsi ambavyo watu wataweza kuendeleza siasa zao manake alipokuwa hapa kitafuta kura uh, kama naibu wa rais akiwania waniaji na bado bado anawania bado haja uh, hatujajua mshindi ni nani alikuwa akiwaeleza wenyeji kwamba msiogope msiwe na hofu nitapambana na nitajaribu uh, kadri na uwezo wangu hivyo basi ikiwa kwa mfano naibu rais ataweza ku, ku, kupata ushindi pale uh, debeni basi itakuwa ni taswira tofauti kabisa ya kisiasa bado ataelekea uh, kuwa king tunasemaje tuna bado eh, ataelekea ata, ata, ataendelea kuwa mfalme wa siasa za eneo hili na, na pengine akikosa tunaye uh, naibu rais Kalonzo Musyoka wakati ile wakati wa Mwai Kibaki tumekuwa na viongozi wengi tu ambao wamekuwa katika nafasi ile Raila Odinga alikuwa katika nafasi ya karibu sana kwa waziri mkuu lakini iwapo Naibu Rais William Ruto ataikosa nafasi hii itakuwaje? Mm -hmm. Kikamilifu kama ulivyo hoji Nick ni kwamba hata kuwa wa kwanza uh, kujaribu kutafuta kiti cha urais kwa mara ya kwanza na kukosa. Atakuwa ameungana na wengine ambao walikuja baada yake. Tunaona ukiangalia okay, kama uh, kiongo anayewania kiti cha urais katika tiketi ya Azimio bwana Raila Odinga si mara moja si mara mbili ametafuta na akakosa. Hivyo basi Musali Mudavadi vile vile aha Kalonzo Musyoka amekuepo sasa ikiwa naibu wa rais atapoteza pale hata kwa kwanza ataungana na wenzake ambao wamekuwa akitafuta uh, lakini pengine itakuwa funzo kwake vile vile uh, la kisiasa na baadaye pengine atakaa chini na kupiga darubini ni wapi nilikanyaga vizuri ni wapi siku kanyaga vizuri uh, lakini hayo yote wafula chebukati ataweza ataweza kudhibitisha uh, katika muda usiokuwa mrefu uh, ni changie tu uh, nick niweze kusema uh, uh, tulipokuwa tunamwona naibu rais akifanya siasa zake hapa nyumbani alikuwa uh, anavalia kofia mbili kofia ya kwanza alikuwa anatafuta urais lakini vile vile 
nilikuwa na, na vile kofia kusema bado mimi ndo kiongozi wa eneo hili ni bahatike ni si bahatike tulikuwa tunamwona hata akifika katika mikutano hapa yeye ndo MC unafahamu yeye ndo anasema sasa tuna Nick Nick sema kitu aha nimekuja na Ken Sigei hapa Ken sema kitu hivyo basi pengine hiyo ilikuwa njia yake ya kuonyesha hata nikitafuta kule bado hapa mimi ndo kusema hivyo basi akipata kule itakuwa ni afueni kwake manake pia nyumbani yeye ndio bado kiongozi huenda asipate upinzani mkubwa sana ama matatizo hapa nyumbani hivyo basi ikiwa atapata itakuwa ni kofia mara mbili ikiwa atakosa basi vile vile atasalia na kofia ya kama kiongozi uh, wa siasa za maeneo ya bonde la ufa haswa hapa kaskazini uh, mwa bonde hilo na vile vile Lois tumeona kwamba viongozi mbalimbali wameshinda Jonathan B ambaye niko timu moja ameshinda wa gavana eh, mwakilishi wa wake Big Gladys Bosio leye akashinda Mandago akashinda seneta lakini wamesema kwamba hakuna sherehe hadi pale utakapopata matokeo ya kura za urais unahisi pengine umoja wa hawa viongozi wanao hili ama hii ina maana gani kwa uongozi wa hili hmm. bila shaka hilo ni linaenda kuonyesha kwamba uh, kura ilivyopigwa debeni tuliona kutoka kiti cha gavana hadi wawakilishi wa wadi ilikuwa ni UDA ni chama cha UDA. Sasa tunaona walipo uh, pata nafasi hizo kama ulivyosema hawajasherekea, wameelekea maeneo ya bomas. Hiyo inaonyesha kuna uhiano mkubwa sana wa kisiasa katika maeneo haya. Si mahali ambapo utasema huku nusu wako huku, nusu wako huku wote wanazungumza kwa msimamo mmoja inapowadia nyakati za siasa. Hata walipopata tungetegemea kwamba mtu angesema ah nimepata jamani sijalala siku nyingi wacha nipumzike siku mbili, siku ya tatu nitaelekea bomas. Lakini tuliona wote wote wa kiongozi wa gavana wa sasa Jackson Mandago wakiondoka utakumbuka ni tukiwa pale katika kituo cha The Eldoret Polytechnic ambacho ilikuwa ni the county uh, returning office tuliona hata gavana Jackson Mandago akitaka kushikwa na mushkili kidogo na wasiwasi maana yake saa zilikuwa zinaenda walitegemea kuabiri ndege asubuhi mapema kufika pale Bomas saa inaashiria kwamba nikiangalia siasa za hapa kaskazini mwa bonde la Ufa Debe ni moja kura zote ziko upande moja na bila shaka wa, kama walivyoenda kusubiri naibu wa rais aweze kujua hatma yake debeni inaonyesha bado kiongozi ama msemaji wa kisiasa hapa bado ni mmoja William Ruto Aha na, na, na mwisho kabisa pengine Lois tukiangalia sasa hizi sheria ambazo wanatarajia wana, wanasubiri haya matokeo kutokea kuna lile ambalo linafahamika kama silver line ulipoongea na wengine wanasemaje kuhusiana na hili muona sheria zinafanywa pale hmm. Sasa ni uh, nimekuwa hapa katika uchaguzi uh, uh, nikidhani uh, matokeo mawili ya, ucha, ya uchaguzi wa rais na kila mara kulipokuwa na utangazaji wowote wa hatma ya debeni ya kiti cha urais tulikuwa tunaona wanyeji wa kaunti ya Wasingishu wakikongamana katika eneo hilo la Silver Line. Sasa Silver Line pengine nimpe tu uh, mtazamaji wetu darubini ni eneo la Mankuli uh, pale we utapata mara nyingi kuna vyakula vya kienyeji ambavyo wenyeji wa jamii ya Kalenji na wanavienzi kama vile maziwa ya Mors sik nyama ugali na kuna mboga za kienyeji uh, pale. Uh, sasa eneo hilo mara nyingi utapata watu wanapomaliza uh, shughuli zao za ujenzi wa taifa jioni wanakongamana pale pengine kunywa kikombe cha chai na kujuliana hali. Pengine hilo ndio lilichangia maana watu wengi hukongamana pale. Sasa hapo ndio mazungumzo ya kisiasa, mazungumzo ya maswala ya kaskazini mwa bonde la Ufa, mazungumzo mas, maswala ya, ya hata kiti cha ugavana huwa kinaamuliwa pale Silver Line. Na pengine hawa wanaonekana kuwapa wenyeji wengine wote mwelekeo ama mkondo atakaofuata kwa kisiasa. Ndio maana kila siku tunaona shughuli ya, ya, ya kuweza ku, kusherekea kiti chochote kile inafanyika. bila shaka kidogo tu maana yake naarifu kwamba nafaa kwenda Boma so Kenya lakini tunaifu kwa nini ukavaa sare kama mimi eh, hapo baadaye bila shaka mtazamaji tunasubiri hapa kuzungumza na wananchi hapo baadaye kuhusiana na the rose on this side where it's written presidential candidates and their families and friends and also that row we leave the first three rows for the presidential candidates and their families we've created more space if you have an observer badge you can take this side it's labeled clearly observers We've also created more space on this side for the observers. We are kindly requesting that we give the first three rows to the presidential candidates and their families. And if there's going to be any remainder, then we can accommodate any other person. But we'll make sure that you all have a sitting. It's a humble request, and we've done consultations with the parties that are here. Thank you.
the protocol persons that we've discussed with will also assist us in ensuring that we've created that space. Thank you. Na huko ni ukumbi wa boma ambapo ni wajibu wao na wanatekeleza wajibu ule Frida wa kutujuza kila kinachoendelea mm -hmm. sekunde dakika saa na muda unavyoendelea kuyoyoma tukisubiri kwa hamu na gamu kumjua nani atakuwa rais wa tano wa taifa hili la Kenya matarajio sufufu pia yanatarajiwa kule Nakuru ambako mwana habari mwenza George Kiru Frida yuko mm -hmm. kule Naam mm -hmm. anafuatilia um, uh, kwa makini kabisa kuona iwapo labda tupatie picha tu ya mji ule wa Nakuru na kaunti nzima subira subira iko namna gani George siju kama unatusikia hapo ulipo George Kiru Uh, lafti na kusikia vizuri tuko katika kaunti ya Nakuru ambapo hapa wananchi wanasubiri uh, kwa hamu na gamu kumjua uh, rais wao watano wanasubiri kuona mali pendulum itakapo simamia lakini kidogo tu ni kujiza kwamba mambo hapa yamebadilika kidogo uh, mambo yamegeuka Nakuru sasa inajulikana kwa jina la utani katika mitandao kama Nakuru Girls hii ni kwa sababu ya ubabe wa kina mama kuchukua nyadhifa zote za juu uh, Susan Kim, uh, Kimani Kihika Susan Kihika ameweza kuchukua uh, kumshinda gavana wa sasa Liki Nyanjui uh, miliki wa kampuni ya Keroche pia ameweza kuzoa zaidi ya kura elfu miane uh, katika useneta na pia pia uh, Lena uh, ku, uh, uh, Liza Chelula kuchukua kiti cha wakilishi wa uh, 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 lakini uh, pengine Uh, hapa tuongea tu kidogo tu kuhusu uongozi huu. Uh, kumbuka kwamba pia uh, Liki Nyanju amesema kwamba amekata amesema kwamba yourself. check. We've also requested under the presidential candidates and families area, we vacate the first two rows. The first rows of the presidential candidates and their families. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Well, Tabi uh, Damutemi, uh, still housekeeping. Well, this moment, this moment, poignant, completely. Um, everybody waiting for this moment. I'm sure probably even for the person at home uh, doesn't understand why we are still talking, but we have to <laughs> because um, they are not ready just yet from that end. Uh, but this is just it. And I'm sitting here wondering how many choirs did the IBC call? The, 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 the previous one and this one look completely different. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. It's part of good work actually mm. done by the IBC. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all right. It's all right. Let's listen into the song maybe. <laughs> Mahali ni mefika Bwana wewe ni ebeneza Maisha ni mwangu we
maisha yangu ya jengwe juu yako na ninataka nchi yangu ijengwe juu yako baba nchi zilizo jengwa juu yako yawe hazivunjiki kamwe na mataifa yaliyojengwa juu yako yawe hayavunjiki kamwe mimi nataka maisha yangu baba Yajengwe juu yako maana wewe ni sauti yangu wewe ni uzima wangu
mahali tumechoka na mahali tumefika ndio maana ninatambua kwamba wewe ni ebene tuimbe pamoja sio kwa uwezo wangu ila ni kwa uwezo wako mahali nimefika baba acha nikushukuru e
Very well. Um, we we're just making fun out of it that uh, at the end of the day, even the strongest at some point will have to bow down to, you know, some higher supreme being. It depends with uh, where you take your affiliation in terms of your, your faith. But at some point, you'll have to consult your, you know, the supreme being, you know, for divine intervention. So that's just an interlude of music. It helps to calm the nerves and, and you know, Music. I think the only, the only thing remaining was uh, Shangwe Navigelegele. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Which you missed. I don't know and how. And have <laughs> actually made it a perfect uh, church service. Yes. Mm -hmm. actually, it's, a, it's a church service as you speak. As it is. Well. Right? Well, it is. And uh, I see there's still another choir uh, preparing to do it. Um, this is how we are managing. <laughs> <laughs> this situation, of course, country on edge, everybody waiting with bated breath um, for the announcement by Wafula Chebukati on who Kenya's fifth president is. Is it Raila Molodinga? Is it William Ruto? Is it Professor George Wajakoya? Of course it can be Maura, he already conceded. <laughs> so we have three um, to look out for. Um, George Wajakoya, William Ruto, Raila Odinga, one of them will be named president-elect of the Republic of Kenya. Bombers of Kenya, uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, tunes that are being uh, belted by the choirs uh, that have been invited by the IEBC. And there are so many of them, and I think they're singing in rows. There's another one now in white, as you can see uh, from your screen, ready also uh, to do the very same. And uh, at the center of uh, the auditorium, you can see seats that have been placed there. And I think this is where agents will be verifying um, the form that he foresee after Wafula Chibukati is done with it. Um, after seven days, uh, seven days after we um, were done with the exercise, here we are at this point. Uh, Victor, do you want to go back for another Shangwe Hallelujah? Mm, I think that now looks like more interesting bit. Uh, mm. and, 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 I mean, you know, the, the, the choice of color yeah. The yeah. is just coincidental. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think next time I, I guess more they're careful. singing. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. No, no. Okay. From, from the dance. <laughs> Oh. Let's go back. <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's cross over to okay. Bomas and get some music. It's good for ourselves even here. Mm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
One, two. Okay, um, all protocols observed. Tunataka kuimba wimbo unaosema Kenya ni mimi, Kenya ni wewe. Angalia jirani muambie, Kenya ni mimi, Kenya ni wewe. Muambie tena, Kenya ni mimi, Kenya ni wewe. Ya, yeah, um, Kenya ni yetu na tunaipenda. Na... Kwa wimbo huu tutasema tu Kenya ni mimi Kenya ni wewe Kenya tu moja DJ
Thank you, thank you, Ole Kaputa. Thank you. Uh, before we continue, we'd like to call the presidential chief agents. The four presidential chief agents, please come to the lounge. I'm sure you know where the lounge is. If you come here, I will be able to show you. The four presidential chief agents only. Thank you. DJ.
Thank you.